was the night before Christmas. He lived all alone in a one-bedroom house made of plaster and stone. I had come down the chimney with presents to give and to see just who in this home did live. I looked all around a strange sight to see. No tinsel, no presents, not even a tree. No stockings on the mantel, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures of far distant lands. Medals and badges, awards of every kind. A sobering thought came alive in my mind. This house was different. It was dark, it was dreary. I had found the home of a soldier. I could see that most clearly. I heard stories about them. I had to see more. So I walked down the hall and pushed open the door. The soldier lay sleeping, silent, alone, curled up on the floor in this one bedroom home. His face was so gentle, the room in such disorder, not at all how I pictured a United States soldier. Was this the hero of whom I had just read? Curled up on a poncho, a floor for a bed. His head was clean shaven, his withered face tan. I soon understood this was more than a man. Then I realized the other families that I saw this very night owed their lives to soldiers who were willing to fight. In the morning round the world children would play Grown-ups would celebrate a bright Christmas day. But they all enjoyed freedom each month of the year because of soldiers like the one lying here. I couldn't help but wonder how many lay alone on a cold Christmas Eve in lands far from home. The very thought brought a tear to my eye. I dropped to my knees, I started to cry. The soldier awakened I heard his rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom. I don't ask for more. My life is my God, my country, my core. The soldier rolled over and drifted to sleep, but I couldn't control it. I continued to weep. I kept watching for hours so silent and still, I noticed he shivered from the cold night's chill. So I took off my jacket, the one made of red, and I covered this soldier from his toes to his head. I put on his t-shirt of gray and black with an eagle and an army patch embroidered on back. Although it barely fit me, I began to swell with pride. For a shining moment, I was a U.S. soldier deep inside. I didn't want to leave him on that cold, dark night, this guardian of honor so willing to fight. Then the soldier rolled over with his voice soft and pure. He whispered, carry on, Santa. It's Christmas Day. All is secure. One look at my watch, I knew he was right. Merry Christmas, my friend. May God bless you this night. Thank you.